Good Wednesday evening, everybody, and welcome back to another video. I got two videos for you guys that I'm going to film tonight, so I'll be mostly caught up. But anyway, without wasting any time, I am going to continue my Saw series with Saw 4. And, uh, to me, this is where the series gets very repetitive. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty, uh, gnarly cover, I'll say. But, uh, this movie starts off with probably one of the most graphic autopsies I've ever seen. Because these morticians are like literally dissecting John Kramer after his death in Saw 3. And to me, I don't think that's really needed, but it's uh, apparent that he has like a tape that was lodged in his stomach and it uh, delivered some twists and turns it is or I mean this series is known for twists and turns this one had the direct approach that Saw 3 had where it's like one man trying to conquer different tests so in a way this is very similar to Saw 3 but the guy in this one, he's like a, a SWAT officer, and it's Officer Rig, played by Lyric Bent. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> and uh, he's on the hunt to find Detective Hoffman before he bites the dust. So to me, this one is the most forgettable one and it's kind of boring in a way there's a couple good traps in here like the first one is like this girl that like has her hair tied to like gears and it like literally scalps her but that's all I can go about and uh the big trap that this movie begins with is between like two men and like a mausoleum. And one of them is blind and one of them has his mouth sewn shut. So it's basically uh, the guy who's blind has to communicate with the guy who has his mouth sewn shut to uh, survive the game. But the guy whose mouth is sewn shut is a survivor, and he's actually an accomplice to Jake Saul. And he's actually uh, holding Hoffman and uh, Matthews hostage. Which, not to mention, this is also the start of Detective Hoffman and Strong. So, to me, Saw 4, 5, Saw 4 and 5 are probably the weakest ones to me. But uh, some of the other traps that I remember in this one is uh, a school administrators or something, and they're like... Uh, posted together by a pole and they have to like uh, remove the posts from their bodies and uh, all those posts are attached to like the main arteries of the cardiovascular system so either way these people are going to die anyway bleeding out <laughs> God, what else? Uh, 
There's also a trap that is taken in a flashback where uh, John Kramer and his wife were running a clinic and uh, his wife was pregnant and uh, this guy like rammed a door on her stomach giving her like a miscarriage so John Kramer gets revenge and he just has the guy like um, I think he has like his hands like this and he has to like lean forward into knives to like free himself so that was a pretty uh, gnarly one uh other than that, I really don't remember other... Oh, wait. I got one. <laughs> it is uh, the second test, and uh, Rig has to like go to like this sleazy hotel and uh, capture this sexual predator. So he essentially has him... Uh, shackled in a bed and uh, the only way for this guy to get out is to like gouge his eyes out before he gets quartered that was a pretty uh, standout trap in this one <laughs> but uh, to me the last 20 minutes or so of this movie just falls apart and kind of like abandons this story because uh, Jeff from Saw 3 magically just shows up and Strom doesn't know what's going on he just shoots him dead in the room that uh, John Kramer died Amanda died and his wife died so it has parallels to Saul 3, of course. But Hoffman gets his head smashed by, like, an ice cube. And Hoffman is set free. And he just continues his reign of terror. And he basically just leaves Rig to die. You don't see him in Saul 5, so... He obviously bled out at the end of Saw 4. But, uh, like I said, to me, this one is definitely the first uh, misstep. And I think it might be one of the bottom ones for me. It's got some decent traps, but they're just not memorable to me I would give Saw 4 a C it's just not really memorable <laughs> those are my thoughts on Saw 4 and uh, right after this video I'm going to give you my thoughts on Saw 5. So, look forward to that coming up in a minute. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Adios. Peace.